Hi, this is part uh, 46 of ASP.NET. In this video, we'll discuss about session state mode is equal to off. In the last video, we discussed about what are the different session state modes are there, like in proc mode, off mode, SQL server mode, state server mode, custom mode. So here we have, uh, in the last video, we discussed about session state mode is equal to in proc. Now we'll discuss about session state mode is equal to off. So if session state mode is equal to off, what will happen means sessions will not work. Is it clear? Let us see here. If I try to, in interview, they will ask one question, very important question, how to disable the session? So actually, we can disable the session in two ways. One is we can disable the session at website level. Other one is we can disable the session at page level. Let us see how to disable the session at website level. And disable the session means sessions will not work within your particular Page. For example, let us see here in this example. You see when I double click on store button button one I want to store the value in the session And when user clicks on button two, I want to read the value from the session Store the value at what read the value Is it clear if you want once you check the output here? When user clicks on button one it has to display the value message saying that store the value when user clicks on button 2, it has to display message saying that read the value. Welcome username. So session is a server side state management technique which is used to maintain the response on the what web server. Are you following? Let us see here. Now this is my page.aspx. Now if I try to go to your source code and how to disable the session at website level. If you go to if you want to disable the session at website level, go to web.config file. There you can mention session state mode is equal to off. Then sessions will not work. If you set this property session state mode is equal to off, then sessions will not work. Let us go to your page and once refresh. So how to disable the session means we can disable the session in two ways. One is at page level, other one is at website level. See here, if I click on the store button, you will get an error because you kept the property here you see session state can only be used when enable session state is set to true either in web.config file or in source code so this is how you can disable the session at website level if you declare the property session state mode is equal to off then sessions will not work so how to disable the session at page level so website level means throughout your website sessions will not work if you want to disable the session at page level, what to do means go to your uh, design window um, and here you can go to your source code. In which page you want to disable the session, go to that particular page source code and there here you can write the property. Something like enable session state is equal to false. Then sessions will not work within this space. Here you can go and check here. So in interview they'll ask you how to disable the session means answer is very simple. We can disable the session in two ways. One is at page level, other one is at website level. If you want to disable the session at page level, you have to set enable session state is equal to false. If you want to disable the session at website level, go to web.config file and there you have to write session state mode is equal to off. This is how you can work with session state mode is equal to off in ASP.NET. For more videos, try to subscribe to this channel, share, like and click on the bell icon. In the next video, we will discuss about the other mode.